Sarah has asked us to make an, an autumn inspired pour and then she wants us to use something we found outside. I am starting today with a used canvas. I had painted on it two or three times already and you can see the texture in there. I applied some black gesso and then two coats of a russet color and then I've mixed it with my basic pouring medium and I'm going to use that in the pour as well. Sarah has asked us to make an, an autumn inspired pour. So I'm going to be using all fall colors. And then she wants us to use something we found outside in our pour, which I'm sorry, but here in Oklahoma, there's nothing going to be found outside for a long time. It's been so long since I've done a pour. I've been working on oil and cold wax lately. And it's like, how do I do that again? <laughs> Better get my rag nearby though. This one's heavy. <gasps> oh, oh my, that's a lot more gold than I intended. Oh, wonder what's going to happen there. It's kind of pretty and fall in the cup, isn't it? All right. I think since I threw in a gallon of gold, I've got enough in here. Maybe a little bit more of this. And I'm going to do a bottle bottom pour. These cups I got out of the trash at a party I went to. Yes, I'm really big on recycling. Oh, that's very fall looking, isn't it? That's just gorgeous. Here comes the 18,000 pounds of gold. Okay, I turned off the fan so that I could torch without my good grief. Even though I turned the fan off, this keeps going out. Gotta get the bubbles out. I would like some cells, but you know, not desperate for it.
Well, that is pretty darn mustard looking, isn't it? Hardly any of the pretty colors showed up. Oh, I shouldn't have put any yellow in. That is just very disappointing. It's like two kinds of mustard. Bright old French is yellow mustard. Well, for a while this looked really, really pretty and I thought, oh, I'm not going to want to do the thing to it. And now it's really, really mustardy, so I don't mind a bit. I'm so disappointed. I'm going to pull a Megan here and fiddle a little bit. <laughs> See if maybe hiding underneath all this mustard color is something that I like. since that's so boring. The glitter is to honor Debbie and Nikki. The fiddling was to honor Megan. All right, that's it for now. When it's dry, I'll finish. Well, Sarah said to go outside and find something to put on our fall project. And since it's not fall here and everything is super green because of the rainiest August ever, I walked out in my garage and I found this old wreath and I'm going to use parts of it. Cheating? I think not. So I forgot to hit record. I just punched holes through this so that I can wire on these pieces of wood, which I am also going to glue down. I think Sarah should have to come clean up 
my studio. It's just covered with crap now. Okay, this is irritating. Should have done hot glue because that'll hold it in place while the real glue dries. And now that that's dry, I need to come back in and glue down a little packet of flowers that I've and leaves I've put together come on <laughs> I hate glue glue is my nemesis I have a whole huge drawer of glue because you have to have a different kind of glue for every different thing so I have this huge drawer full of glue. It's in the dining room. Yes, even though I've got a studio, I have lots of supplies in other rooms of the house. <laughs> Helps if you take the pin out. The glue is dried enough with this little flower and leaf and stick motif that I am um, ready to wire it on. I'm using a 20 gauge copper wire. I mean, you know, copper it goes. I've probably mentioned a couple hundred other times that as a mixed media artist, I have all the supplies. One of the things I used to do regularly was make jewelry. So I have about oh, 10 cutters, 20 pliers, wire, beads out the wazoo. But I've had multiple surgeries on my hands, so it's extremely painful for me to do jewelry work now, unfortunately. As a matter of fact, I'm considering getting rid of a lot of my supplies, but Oh, I just can't bring myself to do it. As a matter of fact, when I moved my studio back here from the other room, I had all my jewelry parts and glass jars on the plant stand that now holds my acrylic pouring paints. And I got a little lazy and tried to move it without removing the jars. Surprise, surprise not. 25 jars fell and crashed to the ground and uh, about half of them broke so all and all of them spilled. So I uh, took my a big tub and I put them all in the tub because I knew I had to resort them. That was two years ago and I finally just moved the tub out of my studio last week so that I would have room for guests on the other side of my work table. I used to worry about keeping scraps, but now that I have a whole 58 quart bucket full of parts that I haven't even bothered to you know, sort, I don't think I need to keep every little scrap anymore. So there we are. October pouring challenge with a bit of a cheat. Thanks for watching my video. Please leave it any questions or comments you might have and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you'll subscribe. Thanks again. Bye.